Poor wretched souls. Be they lord or legend, the curse shows no mercy. What a sham. As you can now see, I am hollowed. Hooray, got that sorted. So yeah, once you when when you die, you get hollowing. You get one hollowing per dark sigil. This is for the people that don't know. Currently have three, so I get three hollowing every time I die. Oh. Once you go over fifteen, then shall you look like that. Then shall we begin? Your true strength shine. Ah, you have attained ample strength. All will soon be clear, my good lord. As I have said, I was once a sorcerer. Alas, the magic of Londor is a far cry from the wonders of Vinheim. But I can teach you what I know. Perhaps, more importantly, I believe that I can help tease out your true strength. We pilgrims of Londor are keenly aware that those branded by the dark sign possess something quite special be safe our lord so yeah say goodbye to yol because he's gonna die now <laughs> we get five sigils he's gone and yeah we are totally being used but At the f it if <laughs> we're doing it for well you know for quest line radio the time has come. And so have I? Yeah, yeah, fuck it, whatever, who cares. Alright, let's do this. Time for crab, times two. Times for invader, uh, time for invader, times two as well. If we're lucky, we can get a pancake. Oh, by the way. Plus four. Just to reiterate, I'm pretty sure I said that, but... Ow. That was a mistake. You're meant to be able to get a critical on them when they do that, but... You're meant to be able to do that for the egg sack. But, uh, yeah, I can never seem to get it. Grass crest. Mini crabs. And some goodies. Green Blossom, huh? Yeah, so the deep water awaits us right ahead. Man, if we had the mace, this would be awesome. Alas. Beautiful. If we were embered right now, Hazel would have invaded us. The yellow thing that hit. Ah, double kill. Something, something unstoppable. I meant to say earlier, but um, yeah, the pal the color palette of this game kind of leaves leaves something to desire at times. But this area still looks pretty nice. If I had to hang out anywhere in Dark Souls for a year to be here, especially given. There is pyromancer stuff, and pyromancer is my class of choice. If you have the stretch out gesture from the profane capital, 
Well, you can hide underwater. It's pretty handy. Pretty cool. You know, a bit of a tangent, but I do wonder if they're going to have anything like um, swimming in Elden Ring. If so, I really hope it's like Sekiro. Because I enjoyed that. In fact, I've been thinking about it. I've got to go back and play that one day. Got to, got to go back and try to beat it. I'm not going to record it or anything, hell no. Sekiro is in this weird um, place, I guess is the best way to describe it. Where it's kind of like Metal Gear Rising, and it's a game I really like, but the combat never quite clicked in the way... Like, well, how's the best way to describe this? I guess the best way to describe it is, in Metal Gear Rising, I got up to Monsoon, right? Which was kind of important for that video I made in 2019. You know, for the clip. But it kind of feels like, and this is kind of being, you know, doing a disservice to myself, it kind of feels like I got there not through, like, proper understanding and skill, but more just, like, I managed to brute force the game and not necessarily cheese it, but... You know, I obviously should be better than I was, but at the same time, it's almost like bosses are meant to be hard or something. I got up to um, that point in Sekiro, the turning point, the choice, the game's still relatively new, so I'm not going to spoil it. So, you know, um, of course I'm going to get stuck. I beat Genichiro twice. It was the other guy. Alright, here he is. Black Knights can be really easy for me or really hard, and this guy seems to be being quite nice tonight. Oh, fuck. That's exactly what I was afraid of, getting stuck in that. Gotta be careful, because he's got to go for his running... Okay, now he's R1. Single R1. The running stab is... The running poke is what I'm really scared of. Fuck, I knew it. I knew the second I got... I got my camera behind the pillar, I was going to panic roll. Fuck. <laughs> oh well. That's annoying. So we'll be at 20 Hollow Week now. Yeah. Normally when I play through the game, I'm rarely get any more hollowing than I need to. On that black metal character, for example, I was I just stayed at well, 15 hollowing. I never died again. I don't yeah, I never did the um oh, what are you doing, crab? I never did the Anri stuff. Well, killed another crab or just hit it, I think. I never did the full Anri quest, meanwhile, but you know. So I didn't have all the sigils. But besides the point. Yeah, I had a feeling the Black Knight would fuck me up. That's kind of annoying. I got a little ballsy there, and I panic rolled as consequence. I know, ballsy and then panic roll. Yeah, you know, go, you know, they go hand in hand together. It's like poetry, it rhymes. Alright, souls, perfect. Mercenary set up there, and the cell saw twin blades just underneath. Yeah, that's what I was worried about, but it didn't matter. If I got caught by the overhead. Cell saw twin blades are under there, and that's the coal right there. So I was hoping to get a that, a charge R2, and then roll. Oh, I've got, okay, well, that works. I'm not going to get armor, I bet, but that'd be cool. Now, fair enough. So that's fair and keep down there for the uninitiated. It's a poison swamp. It's kind of thing in these games. Kind of the thing in these games. And that would be the Abyss Watchers right ahead. I think we can just kind of see through the wall. I think that's what's going on. Speaking of walls. Oh yeah, for the night, of course. And there's a big fucking crystal lizard over there. I remember back when I invaded... I can't... Yeah, actually, thank you, mate. Back when I invaded either on PS4 or PC, I invaded a world where that door was open, but not the, not the big Abyss Watcher door, for some reason. You can do it, man. I believe in you. Will he survive? We'll never know. Farron Cole. Right, we're gonna go fuck up the crabs and then we're gonna ember up. Well, you know what, I'd rather ember up over at Hodrick, have killed the crabs prior, and then yeah, we'll go from there. Hey buddy, man, I wish I had the mace. 
But I just, you know, I didn't really farm like I was initially going to because I was like, fuck it, let's just finish the settlement tonight. And then as consequence, got myself caught into this. Oh. I was not expecting that. Thought I was going to get hit. Alrighty, what's up? What do you want, buddy? Slam. You're not getting greedy is the important thing against these crabs. And then getting greedy at the right times. Landers is really fucking good, though, in general. But as you saw, it bloody melted the uh, lycanthropes. Completely. The crabs can be pretty handy, well, the big ones at least, because they can hit invaders. They won't aggro to them, but they will be able to slam them and hit them with their bubble jet. With a bubble beam. Jacuzzi breath. I'm patenting that spell, you can't stop. There we go. At least it's nice and consistent in regards to what staggers them. Same amount of hits. Yeah, had a feeling that was going to be the case. Yeah, so that's it right there. For some reason, I find it really hard to get, but evidently not. Someone's probably trolling, but they said they can drop the stone great shields from Dark Souls 1. Um, never seen that. Pretty sure that's, uh, that's bullshit. Oh, but, you know, maybe they can. I just fucking doubt it. The Elder Grew definitely drop it, though, I can tell you that much. Got one incredibly early the other night. Got one just by total, totally by random. Wasn't trying to farm. Just killed an Elder Guru a second time, and lo and behold, we got it. Hey, we got the Lycanthrope shit to deal with down there. Okay, come on. It's kind of annoying that these Lycanthrope hunters don't, you know, hunt for Lycanthropes. Alright, let's Ember up. I'd rather kill him so he doesn't fuck over Hodrick. We'll go grab that magic shit. Okay. So we're gonna do this. Gonna run here. Head down. Probably coward out if I actually get invaded. Alright, obviously... Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. Because Mount Maker's... Mount Maker NPCs don't fucking count for some reason. So we can totally just Homeward Bone out. It's when we get invaded by someone else that, you know, that's when it becomes a prob. You talking about above? Yeah, I would be worried about that. Alright, let's go spawn Hazel. We only need to get close to the water. Well, we need to get about here. Yep, there we go. Either that, or it's another person. I hope it's just Hazel. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. Get him, Hodrick. There we go. That floating ball of light is Hazel. Let's go over here. This will fuck him up nicely, though, if I can hit. As you can see, Hotrick is really powerful, especially against invading things. Better take your wood. So as you can see, that is not lit up, which means we are not being invaded by anyone else. It's just a 1v1 against Hodrick. Power within and then into warp, most likely. Just gotta be careful, because he's gonna try to parry me, most likely. Yeah, fucking knew it. Come back! No, I, I telegraphed it way too hard. That's a par fucking Hodrick is a parry god, so you know that's not out of the ordinary for him. 
Alright, let's hope I don't get fucking nailed by this crab and lose all my souls that are right there. Huh. So, 25 hollow. Well, that's lame. Fucking parry god Hodrick. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna want at least um, 20 decks so I can use the Black Bow of Tharos. Not that I. Not that it's incredibly good, but. Composite bow is kind of better, but there we go, so getting that sweet, sweet rolling shot. Alright, let's head back up. We'll take this way. So yeah, we got Sage Ring, which improves our cast time. And we got the Sorcerer set, so that's pretty cool. That said, I don't quite know why they decided to make cast time tied to Dexterity again, like Dark Souls 1. In fact, how I don't even know how cast time works in Demon Souls. I've never thought about it, to be honest. Huh. They uh, tied it to attunement in Dark Souls 2, which I appreciate. It was a good way to do it. Wow, the pike! Holy shit! This thing's pretty long, but you know, not quite what you'd hope. The hell is up with that? The fuck is going on with that L1? Uh, the R1. That looks really janky. Okay. We have been spotted. Yep. Sometimes that guy can poise through it and just, you know, alert. We'll sound the alarm. So, you know. Mmm. Bit of a pain. Alright, Ember up. We got 13 of these after all. Where's Hodrick's wild ride? Yo, my friends. Excuse me. Come through. Come through. Hello. Hello, lycanthrope hunters. I'd like to alert you to the presence of lycanthropes. And a scary purple man named Hodrick. Yo. Come on. Come on, gang. Let's get him. Come on. Fucking crabs. From soft grabs. Fucking vacuumed into that shit. No, down boys. Oh fuck. <laughs> Damn it. That's what I get for trying to be a fucking lion tamer. Well, Hodrick's getting fucked up, so that's beautiful. This is going how I wanted it to. Let's take a sip. Oh fuck off. Well, see you later, Hodrick. Thank you for the thousand souls. And he's dead. I'm about to be... I'm about to become the dead. Oh yeah, also, they kind of uh, lose their crosses at a distance. I don't know what's up with that. Fuck these guys, though. Back. Oh. That said, thankfully, this has a longer range than a spear, supposedly. Radio. We're going to sit at the bonfire. We're just going to take care of uh, Jimmy over here. Well played. Man, Hodrick's been causing me problems tonight. Get rid of this. Chuck that off too. We'll get our grass. Poochie might aggro if we get too close, but fuck it. We'll just smack him one. Alright. Cool. Like I said, normally I go for the swamp, but... Fuck that. And I'm pretty sure I will have edited it in, but yeah, I just got some health, some endurance, and added one point of int so we can have a chat with we'll back once we're done with the sage. And we'll call it quits there. We'll call it quits for the night. Ow. Fuck you. <laughs> Actually, you know what? For a laugh. Po Rotten pun resin works really well for this fight. It's pretty funny, actually. Bitch. Like and throw buddies are down there. Could always plunging attack, but nah. We'll talk to you afterwards, Orbeck. Man, give it a rest. And now we have Big Boy over here. 
So there's a summon free gone back there, but well, who cares? I've been burnt before by a summon tonight. Never again. Oh, for a second I thought we might have been being invaded, but evidently not. Alright, Crystal Sage isn't particularly hard, but there's some attacks I gotta watch out for big time. Okay, we have poison. Perfect. Um, that purple trail of bullshit. I hate that. That's the one that always fucks me up because of how much damage it does. I was meant to be going for the weapon art. Oh well. So yeah, you get it down to half, and then... Uh-oh. The fun starts. So, purple one, it's a real sage. Blue one's not so much. That's the trail, I fucking hate that. And the throwing knife's effective range kinda sucks for this sometimes. Ow, you fucks. Those hurt too as well. Alright. Oh boy, don't want to get hit by those. That said, we can just bring him around. Fall for my trap, Sage. Uh oh. Panic rolls. Okay, good. <laughs> Phew, I was getting worried there for a second. She could be a real dick. Yes, she. Just want to reiterate that. Alright. Well, let's go talk to Orbeck. Then we'll head on that way. Get to the bonfire, get the ashes, kill our friends. Well, the friends waiting ahead. Talk to Grey Rat. It'll be a night. All sorted. So, this is one of those notable locations where we can actually still be invaded. Because the Abyss Watchers are still alive. Hey buddy, do you want to go down the pit? Evidently not, because you fucking dead. You fucking become or die. Right, up we go. So I think the summon for Egon still might be there. I can't remember. I'll have a check in a sec. Well, well. There's something different about you, isn't there? Very well. Indeed, I am a sorcerer. With plenty to share. However, what champion demands service without recompense? Clearly, you're not that sort of man. So you will make me a promise. That in exchange for my teaching, you will bring me knowledge. In the form of scrolls detailing sorcery's secrets. Well, can you assure me of this? Very well. You're no fool. I take it you understand the weight of a promise. I am Orbeck, of Vinheim. Unkindled one. I shall teach you sorceries. We will learn together. It shall be like our very own school. Yeah, they just kind of peace out. Kind of brings into question stuff like, um, well, you know. Oh, so yeah, someone can be summoned right there. Brings into stuff, uh, question stuff like Grey Rad and Cornix being trapped. Yeah, they can just teleport out. Same happens with Carla, of course. Sorry, Flower. What a used jib, but nah. And you'd have to get dragged all the way through the swamp, and that ain't happening. Because I have to kill Hazel another time. Oh, I need to go Merc, um... Oh, I need to go piss off Yuria and then kill Pale Shade. It's a lot of work. It's a lot to do, so no way, man. Sorry. Right. Okay, so what we're level 28. Yep, yeah, cool. Radical. That hollow counter is definitely going to go up later on. I can name a few bosses off the top of my head. Nameless King is one. Lorien and Lothric, perhaps. I mean, them and Nameless King I've had a lot of practice on because of the whole, you know, soul level 14. But, you know, there's still a good chance. No patches, how about you fuck yourself? We have the Herald Armor here. Oh, we walked by accident. We, well, yeah, we went too fast, as opposed to sneaking. Gotcha. 
Hey, Evangel's robe. Cool. Bonfire. I had a message I put down in Bloodborne where there was the bonfire um, in Central Yarnum and I just wrote, Whoa, but wary of contact with superior being. Speaking of superior beings, you can see one right here. It's me. God damn, I'm good. Kind of a missed opportunity that their great axe, being their great machete, doesn't do bleed damage. Kind of lame. Kind of like how the butcher knife should. So I believe if you look down there, yep, right there, you can see that should be where the lycanthropes were hanging out. That's Orbex study right there. Yeah. We'll be going up there soonish. Not tonight, but another night. Just about there. Kicking a demon's ass. This pit is for hollows, not for the likes of you, sane folk. <laughs> yes, yes, then we are just fine. It's important to know who you are, but we'll all be mad soon enough. And should you be undead, well, all the more so. Come here to pile up your victims, for that will form your anchor. You'll see when you go mad. They'll be your family. <laughs> You'll go mad one day, but not today. Take my advice. Use this bone and leave this place. This pit is for hollows and for the occasional madman fond of piling up victims. You've better things to do, I'd hope. <laughs>